Good morning, boys and girls. Today's video, we're going to go through the process of creating a new piping system. Uh, for CH Kelly employees, the first thing we're going to do is uh, verify that our standards do not already have a system for us to use. The way we're going to do that is just to open a new file. We normally just do new, JHK systems 2016. We have a few of them open though, so I'm not going to bother with doing that part again. You see here though, if we go into our uh, piping systems on our project browser, should be a number of types in here. If I go over to my current project, there's only a few. For Kelly employees, all of the ones with the prefix X are stock default out of the box Revit templates. More on this later of why they are here, just uh, be aware that they are. So as we can see, I've only got domestic, hot, and cold, waste, and then our stock systems. And what I'm trying to do here is bring in a condensate system. So we're going to go to the Manage tab, and then Transfer Project Standards. When you click this, be aware that I'm in Test Project GTI's role, and then up here, it shows all available open projects. Project 4 was the latest one that I've opened, so the first thing you want to do is check none. We don't want to pull in everything from the template file. But what we do want to pull in is our piping system types. So you can check that on, hit OK, let Revit grind and blink for a second. And now we have all of our used piping systems, or all of our available piping systems out of the Revit template. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording for a minute. I'm going to purge these out, and then we're going to go ahead and create condensate drain from scratch. Okay, now that that's done, uh, the one important part to remember here is the piping system types. I'm going to select a piece of pipe here. You can see here that we've got a hydronic supply. We can change the system type. We'll switch this over to, say, chilled water supply. You'll notice the system classification is grayed out. This is hard coded. You cannot change this. So what you have to do is verify, and that's why these stock systems are here, what type of system you're looking for and make sure that matches. Since we're doing a condensate drain, that's considered a waste system, which according to Revit is what they consider a sanitary system. So let's go ahead and right click on it. I want to look at the type properties to verify. So we can see here our system classification is sanitary, also grayed out. So this is a good case for getting started on a condensate drain. You can right click over here in the project browser or simply click duplicate up here. Give it a name. Uh, for JH Kelly employees, please keep caps lock on on all of these names. This is our good pointer that this is a system created by JH Kelly. Okay, now we've done that. There's a couple of things we got to go uh, go do, and um, a few things we got to come back and do here. First thing we want to do is assign a material to it. You see that it's set to by category. This isn't what we want. The material is also going to be the color that is displayed once it leaves Revit. So if you're trying to do a export to Navisworks, you have to have an assigned material, and we're going to go through those steps now. So as you saw on the previous screen, next to the name material, there's these little three dots. Click that up. This opens the material rendering dialog box. I'm comfortable with this screen and the exact appearance the way that it looks. Out of the box, yours is going to look more like this. Go ahead and go up the Show Hide Library panel and open it if you want to follow along the steps exactly like I am. So down here, we have to pick a material. and We're going to create everything from scratch here. You see that I've got a condensate one, a condensate already up here, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove a couple of them and we'll leave that guy for a reference because for JH Kelly employees we need to have a particular color set 
for everybody else. Let's go ahead and uh, I prefer the medals category. They're just fun. There's no real reason, no, no category is better than another. And then I'm going to use add material document display and editor. This one will just add it to your project. This one brings it up towards the current texture. We have steel rot here. First thing I want to do is rename it. I'm going to call this condensate drain one. Just because I already have a current condensate drain. Now, under shaded or real color settings on your drop downs, this color is what Revit will read. So if you set it to purple, whatever color you want, this is how it's going to show up on the screen when it's applied. However, that isn't what we're going to do. There's this little checkbox up here use render appearance. This checkbox ties the material to your routing system, your piping system, and this is what will be displayed once it is outside Revit, like if you export to a program like Navisworks. You have to have this checked on. Now go over to your Appearance tab. This is actually where your color setting will take place. So I'll go ahead and click this up. It'll bring up the color palettes. Uh, because we have an actual color standard, I'm going to be going ahead and using our color of 025563. If I can type 63 correctly, that is. There we go. Apparently my number lock was off. So that's going to shine it to a nice shiny green color, which is part of Kelly's standard. Now, the thing you have to remember is this set of numbers that you just punched in to assign your colors. For J.H. Kelly employees, please talk to myself or Casey Pulyart to get a current list of these colors. They are very critical for our processes. I'm going to go ahead and OK out of this rendering dialog box. OK, so now the reason you needed to remember those color numbers is because this is where your color for the system is going to show inside of Revit. Since we're using a rendering material, that gets bypassed. And we want to apply a color override to the system so we see these colors. And you want to make sure these colors are maintained the same. That way it looks the same whether you're looking at it in Navisworks or you're looking at it in Revit. Got my numbers punched in here. And we're good. If you wanted to add a fill or a pattern, this is how you would do that. Solid fill will make your pipe colorize this color green. Or you can do it as a texture, uh, a hatch pattern, or however you, however you wish. We're going to go ahead and leave it as no override, so it's just blank. It'll color our edges. And now we have a piping system for sanitary drain that we are capable of using. Go ahead and draw a pipe. Going to verify that uh, we're going to verify that our drain system works, our condensate drain system. Throw a chunk of pipe in here. You see it turn to that nice, pretty green color. And we're on a sanitary condensate drain system. So this rocks and rolls. We're ready to use it. Hope this training video was uh, handy and helpful. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, you can either leave it in the comments fields below, or if you're a J.H. Kelly employee, call me, email me, contact me, however you wish. Thank you very much.